He is funneling money to his wife's law firm for state business. That's number one. I don't care what you say about me, but you ought to be ashamed of yourself for jumping on my wife. You're not worth being on the same platform. I'll tell as my you something, wife. Mr. Clinton. Now, don't try to escape it. Ralph Nader I called me this afternoon. He read me the article from the Washington Post. Does that make it I true? was shocked by it. What a difference a few years makes, maybe 24 years in this case. That was California Governor Jerry Brown going toe to toe with Bill Clinton back in 1992. They were both running for the Democratic presidential nomination. He was making accusations that Clinton was funneling money to his wife Hillary's law firm in Arkansas, something Brown described as a scandal of major proportion. And Bill Clinton, well, you saw how he responded to that. Now, why is that so important suddenly now? Because we just got word in the last few minutes that Jerry Brown has announced that he will support Hillary Clinton in next Tuesday's California Democratic primary. And joining me now, the Hill senior White House correspondent, Amy Parnes, and Mike Bender, social, uh, senior reporter, excuse me, for Bloomberg Politics. Amy, let me start with you. This is, uh, this is interesting, just yeah. the history here between Jerry Brown and the Clintons. We said that 92 campaign ended with Jerry Brown refusing to endorse Bill Clinton. Yeah. Here's Hillary Clinton in a little trouble in California. Jerry Brown to the rescue. Yeah, exactly. And she really needs it right now. She cut short a few of her New Jersey events this week to fly back to California. She's a little bit of tr in trouble there. And so I think, you know, she this is a really important state to her. Even if she clinches in New Jersey, she wants to come out strong in California. And that's why you're seeing her sort of rush to the West uh, to sort of get out the vote and, you know, energize people there. And I think this one definitely gives her a much needed boost. And if, if she doesn't win California next week, I mean, she's still going to be the nominee barring something totally unforeseen. But what does it mean if she doesn't win California? You know, it just sends her into the general on a not so good note. She struggled this entire primary pretty much. People thought that Bernie Sanders wasn't going to move past New Hampshire. His final win would be in New Hampshire. And then he picked up all these states along the way. And this sort of signals if she goes into California or into the general losing California, that short, sort of shows that she doesn't have the base where she wants them to be. It's a very weakened sort of Democratic Party. Um, in, in a much more energizing, I should say, Republican Party that is sort of, we're seeing coalescing more and more behind Donald Trump. So that's the news on the. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.